And I wanted to be correct. I said I wanted to be uh, un unimpeachable as far as uh, as far as uh, you know prefixes, suffixes, and, and all the grammatical. Thank Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Is I'm it Jana? Jana, yes. Jana. Yeah, hi. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you. And no problem. I was amazing with the movie, Persian Lessons. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And now, well, oh my God, he's amazing. Thank Lars, you. everything so, so good. So, la, la, and, and the way that you humanize the Nazis, but not taking out the I don't know, the, the brutality the that they have, yeah. the evil, mm -hmm. exactly, that they have. So let's start from the beginning. What was about the Zofin's script uh, that got your attention? Well, what you just said, you know, I mean, every, every, there was a great opportunity to tell a story that, that is not just tragic, that is not just comedic, but is both. And it was a, it was a great uh, ending to it. It was a very profound ending. You know, that I think uh, kind of was unexpected in a way because uh, for the viewer, because uh, it just, you know, his his survival by himself as an individual would have been commendable. You would have said, yeah, wow, what a clever guy. You know, this is funny and fun and boy, I'm worried about him. And there he goes off at the end. He's safe. Uh, but the way this ended was that by unwittingly and unknowingly, just saving his ass, he ended up saving the names and the legacy of all those people. You know, he memorialized them. And uh, and I think that that's what adds the profound profoundness to the, to the story. And that, I reacted to that. Yes. 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 And and like finding the perfect actors to play to play him and and to play the the the, the Nazi <laughs> like Lars and Noel, what was about them that got your attention? Well, they're perfect. You said it. You know, I think I think that you know I, I do a, a very thorough job of casting. Usually, you know, I'm, I'm seeing like hundreds of people and possibilities. Make all these tables and you know rank them and so on uh, because that to me is like ninety five percent of. Uh, of my job with the actors is to find the right act, you know, and I, I think I did once again, <laughs> you know, and, and, uh, you know, and I, you know, there couldn't be anybody better. And after that, then I'm just, they're on autopilot. You know, I'm not really directing them. They're, you know, they're doing their thing because they're good. They've proven to me that they are that character, you know, so it's. Yeah, it's amazing. Also, Another thing is the cinematography. It's beautiful. Like, what was like the approach, especially like when he's running away, when you have like the, the, they're in the, getting the yeah. lessons, everything. So like, I, I think you thought a, a lot about it. <laughs> what was your approach? Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was definitely planned. We, we didn't want any cool colors for sure. Just wanted like earth tones and kind of, uh, and very little red, like red. As a matter of fact, all the you know we sucked all the red out afterwards, and uh, we just it, we wanted it to be a, I guess some kind of a Dutch oil painting, you know, with uh, sand thrown in it, kind of a thing, you know. And that's a, that's a real uh, testament to my to my dp which you know who's incredible vladislav opinions you know he's he's uh he's a master in his own right and he was a great collaborator like on everything yeah the music also plays a uh is a character itself like Isn't i it think yeah. i don't know yes yeah. I, I think in my opinion i really enjoy like what was like it, it because compliments you know the, the choice was yeah Jana, the choice was to use the usual you know you know, Jewish violin and orchestra and all that, uh, you know, klezmer stuff <laughs> it, for emotional impact, of course. But uh, I didn't want to do that. It's enough of that. So I went with a kind of very almost, almost a modern score, almost like a little glass-like score, if I have to say that. And, and uh, well, I shouldn't even compare it to anybody because it's unique. Uh, the music is unique. And it's uh, again a testament to those two brothers in Paris. You know, 
who who are genius with this thing really really great I mean, they, they had a lot to do with it, obviously so that i saved i saved the only bit of violin for the credits at the end <laughs> that's good yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Also, you you invented a language, right? You create the yeah, your your I own did. your own dictionary with the help <laughs> with with help. Yeah, but pretty much I do have a dictionary. Yes. Uh, How was and, like uh, this part, like this this process? Uh, well, uh, I contacted uh, in Moscow at the time. I contacted uh, a linguist, you know, like a a, a, a linguist at at the faculty of linguistics in, in Moscow State University and uh, imagine how happy he was to make up a new language. And I just gave him the parameters. I said, here's the words, whole like, you know, script, obviously. Uh, what I need is a kind of a Eastern Arabic sounding language or Semitic for that matter. And uh, the and all that. And I wanted to be correct. I said I wanted to be uh, un unimpeachable as far as uh, as far as uh, you know prefixes, suffixes, and, and all the grammatical rules that are. So I don't want just like a list of words. I want him to be able to say that word in past tense. In uh, I'm not linguist, so in whatever in whatever way that we usually use words. You know, it's not just like I go to store. You know, I went to store. Whatever. Got it. And can can we say that it was your biggest challenge on this doing this movie, or we have a no? My my biggest challenge one. was yeah. My biggest challenge was the setting because it was incredibly depressing and horrible. Well, wow. cold, cold building and stuff that we built. It was it was really it was really hard to go there every day. It really was. Um, So that was tough, but it's okay. We added, you know, real realism to it. And uh, the other biggest challenge was I didn't know German, you know, and 90, 90% of the film is in German, you know, so, so I had to pick it up as I went, at least as it applies to the script. Different speaker, but, uh, you know, it, it was, it was hard. It was like the blind director, you know, what's yeah. happening now? <laughs> Yes, you. I trust you. Can you tell me something? Yeah, what's happening? What's going on now? Somebody uh, tell me. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I, I think it was like it was perfect and it was amazing. And and why you want people to learn uh, from from the movie? Uh, that we can all do this. It's not just the Nazis. I think that's the, that's why I humanized them in a way. That's why I allowed them to be humanized. He humanized himself. Allowed the character to be humanized is the fact that, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, quite often the Germans, the Nazis, certainly the Germans, the Nazis are portrayed as, you know, just killing machines, just sadistic, uh, very two-dimensional uh, characters that are just like a scorpion in a boat. You know, it's like, oh, of course it stung you, he's a scorpion. Oh, of course it did all these, uh, you know, these atrocities, they're Nazis. That doesn't, that doesn't, doesn't, it's not the complete story. There were also humans doing that who were Nazis, you know, who, who loved and who, who cared for their children and doggies and, and, you know, and went to work as if it was work, had office politics like the people in the movie did. And that's all of us too. And so by humanizing them, I first of all amplified, I think, their atrocities that they've done because it's easy to see a robot kill something, a killing robot, you know, but a human being who just who just professed love for somebody, go and kill somebody is is a lot, you know, is a lot uh, is a lot harder to watch and a lot more, uh, I think, you, you, you judge it more and, and hopefully see a part of yourself capable of it. I'm yeah. talking in general. You know, yeah. so, so, and when you see a part of yourself, hopefully you're not going to do that. <laughs> so that's why I made the movie. Amazing. Vadim, I just want to thank you so much for your time and a lot thank of you. success. I hope everybody enjoyed the movie like I did. And I, I cannot wait for your next project. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.